What's up team? Xenia from Dust Fishing Adventures. So I thought it's finally time for me to do a boat review. So I've had I've done about 95 hours. It's almost due for its 100 hour service. Um, the Flyfin uh, 1700 Tide Console. So today we're just gonna, hopefully the audio is okay, but uh, we're just gonna do a bit of a walkthrough um, of all the features of the boat, um, things that I would change, um, little designs that were uh, my own idea, um, yeah, and just a bit about the brand and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, so we'll start up the front, uh, just because the lighting's actually better this way. So we'll start up the front. So what we've done in uh, my 1700 is obviously got the main feature, which is the massive casting deck up the front. So this is something that's not standard in the range, but with uh, Nick from Tino Marine, who builds fly phone boats, they're super flexible and it's just like the world the oyster basically. So obviously I wanted a big casting deck because we're always casting soft baits, stick baits, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then we've obviously gone for the um, heightened uh, bow rail and put it on the inside so that we've got all the fabric to lean against it, you know, fighting big fish, you know, makes it, make it, makes it easy. So yeah, um, then obviously a small boat, storage is a big issue. So we've obviously got a massive catch that stores heaps of stuff coming. Give it heaps of stuff in there. Um, and it's it's dry as well, um, so it's got the, the gutters over there, you know, goes up real nice. So we've we've gone on holiday and put all our camping stuff in there as well when we're towing the boat. You know, don't have to store that much stuff in the vehicle itself. So that's pretty sick. Um, then, yeah, we've got the four rod holders up here, and that's obviously if you're casting up here, you know, boom, boom, boom. You can put it in there, drive back over the fish, take it out again, boom, you know, so um, that's that's pretty sick having the four rod holders up there. And then we'll come we'll come back to the speaker data, but obviously we got the two fusions up there as well. And um, Frank's pretty hard, so that's pretty sick. And then we'll work our way down in front of the console itself. Um, we've got a 90 liter IC tech, so that fits in there like Primo. Um, we had a 70 in there as well, so a 70 or a 90 in the in the long sort of um, bins fits in there easy as. Uh, then obviously we've got more rod holders because you can never take enough rods out. Uh, we've got another four rod holders up there. We've got a bit of a U deck there just to protect the reels from the um, uh, dash itself. And then yeah, uh, we've got the fold down windscreen. But yeah, so that's basically the front of the boat. But we'll come to the midsection. Okay, so next up, we'll look at the midsection of the boat. Uh, we'll talk about all the electronics, um, the dash setup, configuration, all that sort of stuff. So we've opted for an extra large dash. This isn't the standard size that comes in the 1700. It's a bit smaller. And the reason we went for a bigger dash was because we had a 12 inch screen and quite a few bits and pieces going on over here. So yeah, we've got the 12 inch Garmin, which is set up with a, um, pretty sure it's a TM261 kilowatt transducer on there. Then we've, it's fully touch screen, but we've also got the panel on the side. So that gives us the button options. You know, sometimes your hands are slimy and all that sort of stuff. Um, so you can do all the zooming, you can store the different um, pages that you want on there. And then we've got obviously Garmin VHF. Uh, we've got the Fusion uh, RX40 or RA40 uh, head unit. And that's obviously cranks the two speakers off the front. That's just Bluetooth because we don't really uh, do anything. We don't really need a radio or anything like that. So yeah, that's just fully fully for Bluetooth purposes. Uh, we've got the wireless phone charge over there, pretty sick. And then we've got the USB, waterproof USB chargers over there as well. So we can like charge the drone and phones and all that sort of stuff. And then we've got the uh, Yamaha smart screen uh, that obviously shows us everything to do with the motor um, and all the controls to do with the motor as well. So yeah, then down here, we've got pretty basic uh, switch panel. And that does our light bulb, the front, our underwater lights, our light bait tank pump, uh, our uh, nav lights, anchor light, and bulge. Uh, it's auto bulge as well, so it makes it pretty pretty safe and convenient. Um, but yeah, and then obviously pretty sick feature is the fold down dash. 
when the boat's stored at home, fold the dash down, protects all the electronics from the elements. So that's actually a pretty sick little feature. Also gives you quite a bit of protection from any spray and stuff like that, even though the boat is pretty dry itself. And then we've obviously, we've put a full send handle on the side um, for when we're going out with the boys and something to hold on to. Uh, so yeah, um, next we'll go to the um, ass of the boat and look what look at what pushes this beast along. See? Okay, so next up we'll look at the back end of the boat. Um, so first and foremost, you can see we've got quite a nice size lightweight tank. Um, so that's obviously got the switch on the dash uh, with the pickup and that holds quite a few Mackies, Kawai, whatever you want to put in there. Sometimes we put snapper in there to keep them fresh. Um, and then just keep them once we get from the back to the ramp. And then we've got the four rod holders on the top. Uh, so obviously the bipad tank is an additional feature. Um, so maybe that will just have a bait board. And then yeah, we've got the four rod holders. We've got a little GoPro on it there for filming. It's pretty cool. The um, glass up the front so you can check on your liveies, make sure they're all happy and you know, jolly and all that. And then back here we've got the uh, car that's full custom fly and dive ladder as well. Pretty freaking neat job if you ask me. Uh, done by Nick and the team. And then obviously the power horse of this boat is the Yamaha F75. Um, I was skeptical, should I go 75, should I go 90? I'm super glad I went with 75. Um, at 5'8 we're getting 35 knots. So that's freaking pretty awesome to me. We don't need to go any faster than that, really. Uh, and most of the time we're cruising at 20, between 25 and 27 knots. So fuel economy is insane. Um, I won't bore you guys with all that stuff, but basically for a rough estimate, for the guys who fish in the Gulf, uh, a day out of Omaha to Barrier, chasing snapper, kiwis at horn, back, we use about 53 liters for the entire day. Um, and that's hardly even turning the motor off, so that's pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. Um, yeah, so, yeah guys, that's my 5.1700 type console. Um, this boat has been an absolute dream, like it's honestly a dream come true as well. Uh, lastly, I would just like to say thank you to everyone, like I hope I don't forget anyone, but everyone who's made this possible. Um, Nick. Atino, man, you're a legend. The boys, you know, all the boys working hard um, welding this beast up like in a matter of, I want to say, days uh, was really quick. Um, Dens, bruh, from Miami, like shot for looking after me, uh, shot for, you know, uh, hooking me up with, with the outboard and all that. Um, finally, it's Yamaha, you know, thank you for all the stuff you did. You fed out, you know, you fitted the 12 inch screen, you know, it was Jono, like, Freaking awesome, man! Like you guys, legends. Um, who else? Garmin, Simon. Man, you already know. Like, thank you so much, man. Like all the electronics. It really man, marks the fish, finds the fish, boom, hooks the fish. So can't complain at all. And then who else? Getting here, Nava. You know, um, you guys, absolutely awesome. The light bar, because when we're going for kingies, we're launching before before sunrise, you know, 4 o'clock, 4.30, uh, the Nava light bar makes it a breeze to see, you know, 6,000 movements, it's, you know, it's really good. Um, and then we've got the blue underwater lights as well, so, yeah, that package is, is awesome, thank you a lot for that. And yeah, just, yeah, everyone who's put freaking a hand in on this, I appreciate it so much, and hopefully we can just continue making epic content for you guys. Cheers.